Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and all the viewers on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Abzan Absolution. Calling it Absolution because we're playing at three Ethereal Absolutions. We have our deck kind of built around this card here. As you can see here, this is a donation deck. So this is a viewer submitted deck. If you would like to have your own donation deck, I have a complete info panel uh, on my Twitch page about how to have your deck played on stream. So let's see what we have here. So we, we're playing a Hero of Precinct 1 deck also. As you can see, this is you know maybe our most important card. We got tons of multicolor cards. Try to go wide and make a lot of tokens with this. And then pump up our tokens with our Ethereal Absolution. Uh, some A couple of things I'm a little worried about. I'm a little worried about like how we don't have... like We only have a few two drops. And so I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Our first couple of turns of the game. We have a lot of cards that are good after we have a big board. And that's the other thing I'm kind of worried about. Cards like Unbreakable Formation, Find Finality, um, you know, Revival. These cards are only really good later in the game, not early. Like if we have a hand with just some lands and like a formation and a find and a revival kind of thing, it's like, it's going to be, that could be kind of rough. Um, but we'll see. So like basically Revival... I, I guess, I think we're just mostly doing this to get Hero Precinct 1 back. I think that's what we're mostly having here, is just Revival to get Hero Precinct 1. Um, you know, so I think we're doing it like the 2-mana card there. I don't think we're going to really ever cast Revenge. Um, so, that's that's that. You know, it can also return Knight of Autumn, of course, as well. And if if the, like we play a matchup where Knight of Autumn is really good. We have Vraska and Vivian. Those cards are, are just really powerful cards. Um, and that's kind of our deck. We got the one March of the Multitudes in here. Um, yeah. That's unnecessary. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and get to some games, and uh, let's see how Abzan Absolution does. All right. Um, yeah. Abzan Absolution. Do you think War of the Spark is going to be an expensive set? Um, in paper, I yes. Uh, I feel like War of the Spark will probably be one of the most valuable sets that we have seen in a long time. In paper, there's just so many planeswalkers. Planeswalkers usually do a pretty good job of holding their value. Um, a lot of other pretty nice cards as well. I just can't keep this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need lands to get towards the Ethereal Absolution. That's kind of the problem with playing like these cards like Unbreakable Formation and Revival, just like I was talking about. They look so bad in the opening hand. They're only gonna help after we have all of our other cards already working. Um Yeah, I'm just I'm just moving I'll be moving back to Texas where I have family, friends, all that kind of stuff. I am currently living in Virginia right now, and I want to get back to the warm weather, too. Warm weather's nice. I guess I kill this thing. Maybe I don't. Like, the one the one reason why I'm hesitant to kill the Sky Marcher Aspirin is because it will die to an Ethereal Absolution with the minus one, minus one. However... Alright, I'm going to get rid of it now with this thing going to be hitting me. However, if there is a Venraid Luxodon that would pump up the Sky Marcher Aspirant, that would be something that we wouldn't really be able to control there. I'm hoping like like mid June is like what I'm shooting for right now for when I'm moving. Hmm. 
So should I mortify the Legion's Landing? Or the History of Banalia? Or this Knight Token? I'm not going to mortify either of those things. I'm going to mortify something here. Y'all are saying History and just let them have Landing? I guess the Landing doesn't do very much against Absolution. That is true. That doesn't really help too much. So yeah, alright. I'm good with History. Do you think you are untapping the two mana bounce lands and amulet bloom could be good enough for the deck? I don't I don't know what you're exactly referencing what Matthew were asking. Do you think you are untapping the two mana bounce lands and amulet bloom could be good enough for the deck? I don't understand the question. For, for which deck? Hey, between 3 and 25 characters. Thank you. So in a Kiora deck? They're just so slow, though. I mean, I guess, so you'd play Amulet. So basically you'd just play like Amulet Titan. You know, you, so you're saying like basically play Amulet, play a bunch of bounce lands, but then don't really play Primeval Titan, play Kiora and four power creatures instead. Or are you just saying put Kiora into Amulet Titan? So if they have a removal spell either way, we're dead because we have the shock land there. So they, you know, if I if I hold Amara back and they have a removal spell for Amara, I'm still taking lethal. So I might as well get a lifelink blocker here. I don't yeah, I don't I don't think uh Kiora fits an amulet titan. I could have blocked the 4-2 instead of the 2-2, but we'd still we would have been taking an extra I guess we would have only been taking an extra one that turn. And we could have I guess that would have had to stay alive. Yeah, that shock land was a little unfortunate. Alright, can we just get these things out of here? Get these out of here. That's I guess we got some cry of the carnariums. And get some more removal. I actually kind of like Duress in this matchup. We have some pretty good cards here in this matchup. I guess I don't... I guess we're not going to be playing Duress. Um... I don't need all these Vivians. Actually. Actually, yeah, let's let's just cut Vivian. Get a couple duress in there. Alright, that'll work. Yeah, she could be extra copies of Amulet. Um <clears throat> I mean kind of. She could be uh, bad amulet. 
but that deck is is already really good and has just you know a, a really good amount of good cards basically <laughs> I, I don't think Kior is an upgrade over anything in there uh, well they have Legion's Landing History of Banalia Conclave Tribunal uh, Ajani Mentor Heroes they usually play Unbreakable Formation also Dress hits tons of things in their deck. Do I want to turn one flower? I don't really want to shock flower. Yeah, I don't want to shock here. No lands. I'm not going to Assassin's Trophy and give them a land. I will just, you know, trade my creatures one for one and get, get a token where the token can block the Aspirant as well. But getting their permanents off the battlefield... Is good to help keep from, uh, keep them from ascending. Can we get to? We get to six mana. I wish I could Assassin's Trophy my own thing. But you can only destroy permanence your opponent controls. Hey, whales. And DJ Polly B. I guess DJ Polly B was the one that said hi, chat. Sorry. Thursday is when the sets hit an arena. All I want to do is draw lands here. Just want to draw two more lands. Our opponent's probably saying the same thing. Just wanting to draw lands. There we go. Very good. Good draw there. Blech. 
I mean, if we draw the land for a Theodore Absolution, then we'll have two toughness and they'll have... Yeah, I'm just gonna go no blocks. Can anybody help Moo Moo Two Two there with how to get Arena to play on an older MacBook? Anybody have any insight there? I do not know exactly what to do there. It's not available on... Come on. I mean, this is just game. Ugh. Couldn't get our six mana. It's, it's tough, though. I mean, six is a lot of mana. Six is a lot of mana. So it's, it's hard to... To get there. Yeah, we're we're only playing twenty four lands in the deck too. But I mean we, we do have the two flowers though, as we saw there, so it's it's kinda like having twenty six mana sources, kind of. It's a big problem as as we saw there that, that whole game, Assassin's Trophy is just kind of a horrible card. <laughs> it's like a, I guess I maybe I just don't bring it in there. I don't know. So we just could never play <laughs> we could never play Assassin's Trophy because it was just gonna help our opponent too much. And so we were just like sitting with this removal spell that was dead. Gosh, I hate Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, when our our opponent's stuck on lands, we just can't really ramp them. I, I mean, I, I think Sultai is the best deck in the format. Still think that. No, we don't have any ramp. We're supposed to be a Hero of Precinct 1 deck. Supposed to be. But when we don't draw Hero of Precinct 1 and we draw like these unbreakable formations, it looks a, a little embarrassing. But that's what we're supposed to be. Yeah, Assassin's Trophy is a lot better in Modern. Um, the games are just so much faster where that, that extra land isn't as valuable plus there's a lot of other ways to there's a lot of other ways to attack mana bases so like you, you get to pair assassin's trophy with other things like ghost quarter and stuff like that uh you have like path to exile you can pair it with also um there's also even with you know with that being said there's also less basic lands in general in, in modern and just all of it together <laughs> it's okay yeah it's okay don't don't worry about it. Don't don't sweat it. It's okay to to have a, a deck that doesn't do so well. Joe, if you're talking about a best of one tournament, <laughs> Sultai Midrange is not good in best of one. Best of run is a completely different format than standard. Damn. 
down, 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 down. How often is Vivian going to hit a creature? Semi often. Vivian at least would help us hit that six land for Ethereal Absolution. That'd be good. This deck's definitely missing Sarah for the scales. And other things like that. Like, we kind of don't really have, like, our just va our good, valuable cards to help bridge us. Yeah, four color felt really good. Uh, both of our losses were, like, really close. Um, a lot of our wins were pretty close, too, though. Like, it was just, it felt like a good deck, though, and uh, played a lot of good games. It was a fun deck to play. Every fight makes me stronger. <laughs> it's not going to be RNA standard plus Devolt. <laughs> when War of the Spark comes out. There is just a whole lot of life gain in the set, though, so Tibalt could be pretty valuable. All right, here we go. We're actually going to start doing stuff. We got a hero. Let's get two creatures out. We're going to have this unbreakable formation to be able to protect them. We need to find more Knight of Autumns. That's the big thing we need to find. We need to be able to gain life here. Knight of Autumn. Come to me. All right. Well, it looks like we're probably dead. Rob dead. So, you know, they haven't played any lands. I assume they just have Lightning Strike upstairs and then another Lightning Strike. Whoa. No Lightning Strike here? Yeah, we have Vivian Ultimate plus Unbreakable Formation next turn. Well, that's one short. Are we one short? Are we like attacking for 16? We're not attacking for 17 next turn. 5, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ugh. All right, so we're not ultimating Vivian because it's not lethal anyway. We'll wait a turn. We are going to be ticking up and looking for another one of our three Knight of Autumns. Alright, that, that gains a life. That's good. That was a good draw. That gains I've a life. Seen things that would break someone like you. Gets us out of bolt range. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. Woohoo! We found a revival. 
We're really doing it. We are really doing it. We are really doing it. All we needed was our our opponent to just sit on two mana and have like four cards in hand they can't cast. <laughs> the comeback. <laughs> well, thanks, Team Money. Listen, glad glad you're enjoying the stream. All right, moment of cravings. Dress. All right, get these things out of here. And... I guess... One Vivian and one Find. These, wait, just get these Ethereal Absolutions out. We don't need those. Um, Vivian, you can come back. You can find Knight of Autumns and stuff. And... No, I don't want Cry of the Carnarium. I guess I can play these trophies again. I could play like Harpooner. I'm just going to play some trophies. The sponsor referrals here hide the amount of cards I have in the deck. Like with Deckmaster? I thought Deckmaster just doesn't show you that, I think. Mental Massacre. Thank you so much for that resub for the third month in a row. Because basically I didn't I don't really want cry with these kind of cards in, in this matchup. What? I I don't know enough about this Final Fantasy VII remake. What? It, what? Uh, platforms is it on? I guess is my my big question. The arena UI is just dir directly below the sponsor referrals. Would it would it make sense to raise this up? I I don't know what you know because I just don't know what y'all are seeing. So should should I raise should I raise this part up? Uh, news about it later this year. Okay. Y'all have to help me out because yeah, I, I want the viewing experience to be enjoyable for y'all, but I I don't know. You know I don't know what exactly it looks like for y'all. I don't know exactly. Oh, when you're sideboarding, the number of cards is displayed on the left underneath the stream goal text. It needs to be lowered a little. This needs to be lowered a little. That's for whenever I'm sideboarding. Yeah, Cry would have would have been useful this specific hand. Uh, we don't have two black mana, so it's not like like we wouldn't be able to cast it, but it would have it would have looked cool in our hand. 
We can't cast any of these other cards anyway. So I can shock in, play Tristani, they just kill us with Firebrand. Uh, if I shock in and can tempt the Chain Whirler, they still just attack us for three and deal the extra one with that other Chain Whirler. Should, should I have Cry? I guess I could have Cry instead of Trophy. I guess. I don't love the Trophy, of course, so. Sure, I'll try Cry instead. Oh, I, sorry, I should have stopped there and seen if that, if that was better. No, we don't have any Kaya's in the deck. I like this hand. This hand is, you know, pretty, pretty perfect for us, honestly. Uh, you know, we get to duress turn one to try to take a burn spell for the hero, get to play hero, and then play Knight of Autumn, gain some life. Golgari Queen can, you know, destroy whatever or gain life. Yeah, this is a really, really solid hand. Let's take one of these Wizard's Lightnings. They'll be able to Wizards Lightning the other, like use their other Wizards Lightning here. We have just a lot of tension here with the Knight of Autumn. Like if I'm supposed to wait until Frenzy before I play Knight of Autumn, or just play it right now. And I think that answers my question, just to play it right now. The Sunpetal Grove is going to play, is going to come into play tapped. Hey Azur, it's going very well. Alright, so let's get our, our creatures back. Yeah, with our uh, Sun Pellet Grove coming to play tapped there, didn't get to play the hero first, which would have been nice. We're at a healthy life total. Steamkin is like the kind of card that could certainly uh, run away with the game, <laughs> for lack of a better term. There. Yeah, go ahead, Pit. So, I like getting that thing out of there. How am I going to deal with this phoenix now, though? Why does there have to be a rekindling phoenix? I think it's probably better for me to try to go over that than under that. 
because under that is just, you know, it's going to take up the battlefield here. Hey, Cajun guy. So we have the beginning of being able to kill a rekindling phoenix now. With the Vivian. We have Contempt in our deck. Maybe we'll draw Contempt. That'd be nice. Hmm. Gonna be definitely gonna be playing a Grixis deck. That'll probably be our, our first deck to play on Let's Thursday. See. You can't stop Some kind nature. of Grixis deck with Nicol Bolas. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Cajun guy. Cool. Ugh. Wish we had Assassin's Trophy instead of this... Fry the Carnarium. I mean, I, I can't minus and cry, can I? No. No one knows the wilds like I do. If I minus and cry, then I'm not. Then I'm just gonna be dying to the Steamkin. Because if I do that, you know, like my entire battlefield goes away. And then I have to play like the Hero Precinct 1 to chump block the Steamkin. It's a rough spot. I'm gonna just try to go wide. Try to find another Knight of Autumn. So I was trying to find another Knight of Autumn or something like that for the next turn. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? If only we had... If only it wasn't Cry the Carnarium, if only it was Golden Demise, because Golden Demise, you know, wouldn't have affected our things at that point. Golden Demise would have been a lot nicer to have. Meet my newest friend. I 
I still can't cast Cry of the Carnarium because these these things would kill me. I could I could get rid of one of them. You know, if I, if I minus three. So yeah, I could have like minus three and then mortify token. But we're just not really we're just not in a good spot. I'm just trying to take up and find something else. Can we just have anything? Yeah, like a, a Lyra would be nice. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Something. We just don't don't have anything. Yeah, Vivian is. I guess I should have just boarded out Vivian. Vivian didn't do anything for us. Bleh. Yeah, we need like Lyra. Okay, like Sarah for the scales. Um, there's a card we're missing. You know, like if I, these unbreakable formations were just like Sarah for the scales. Or revivals, you know, like something else like that that we have another good. There we go. Perfect. That can fit right there. Yeah, that fits just fine now. Perfect. There we go, yeah. Y'all always let me know whenever there's anything like that, uh, sound, visual, anything like that that's um, bothering y'all that I can fix. Hey, Sothian. Um, the Vraska Golgari Queen is good. I like that, and I usually like Vivian. But we could use a few more creatures. Um, I wouldn't mind, like, another Tristani. The beginning, you know, I was I was pretty worried about Unbreakable Formation and Revival, and still very worried about those cards. Um, I feel like we need another land if we're playing Ethereal Absolution also, or maybe not with the flowers, I don't know. Vivian helps us get our lands. But, yeah, some Seraph of the Scales would be nice with Lyra Dawnbringers in the sideboard. You know, so maybe something like... Maybe, like, just have these in here. Get those out. Like, you know, maybe keep one unbreakable formation if you really like that card. Um, and then a couple Leers in the sideboard. Cry of the Carnarium is just not really necessary in this deck. And definitely just hate trophy. <laughs> um. Even just like a couple cast downs. I don't know, something else. That trophy was just so bad for us. Maybe like another, a fourth Mortify and third Contempt kind of thing. I mean, if we want something for, we probably want something else for aggro though. And you're going to want cast down against aggro. You know, you, because cast down actually kills, you know, Chain Whirler and Benelish Marshall and stuff and only costs two mana. Yeah, his, history would be kind of hard to cast. I, just, I wish we had more two mana spells. Also, but Sarah fits really well. We could do fourth night of autumn in the sideboard. Instead of this crushing instead of one of the crushing canopies. I, mean, I think a third Amara instead of the third Vivian would be good. Get another, get more two drops in there. Um, it's really like tight. That's the other card we're missing is Tithe Taker in this deck. Tithe Taker plays some good defense. Canopy hits as Kanta, so does so does Night of Autumn. 
Right? They both they both had Ascanto. Yeah, Tie Taker doesn't trigger Hero. That's that's kind of a problem. You can play Oligarch. Um, I think Oligarch's pretty underrated. I like this card. This card triggers Hero. It honestly could be just be better than Shauna. It's a lot better on its own than, you know, Shauna's just like a 1-1 right away, as we saw there, like that other game. Oligarch's pretty good. And right, we're just turning this into Abzan Hero. But. Doing good, Eddie. Um, Teamer or Esper? Like, for what, Grizzlies? Give me a little bit more with that question. Yeah, I mean, just Tithe instead of Hero. Like, honestly, Tithe Taker is probably just a better card than Hero. But. No, yeah, don't want Tesa. Got the formation and the march for two oligarchs. I mean, I'm I am all for cutting this formation. Yes, yeah, Trasani's really good. Oligarch's good. <clears throat> My closet doors are just um, making noise there. and Yeah, there's a lot of twos and threes in this deck. I don't know. So maybe something like that. Um, yeah, try try out something like that. And yeah, I mean, tithe takers are awesome. But if we want to make it a hero deck, you know, like we gotta gotta keep it. You know, a lot of these um, these kind of spells. Um, we gotta keep a lot of multicolor spells. Yeah, this definitely looks a lot more consistent. You know, getting getting rid of. You know, like Unbreakable Formation and Revival, like like we're saying, like they, they can do stuff later on in the game. Unbreakable Formation only good when you're like already ahead and you already have a bunch of creatures. And Revival only good like if you drew a hero and the hero died kind of thing. Just playing playing cards like Seraph, like Seraph of the Scales is just always good. And so just putting that in the deck makes it a lot better. Oligarch's just going to basically always be good for us at the two mana slot. Um, you know, it, it'll trade with something, give you a token. It also triggers hero. It just it just does good things for you. Um, so there you go. Um, for tonight, I think we'll go ahead and move back on to our other two decks. But I think I think that could be a, a good some good upgrades to this deck right there. Um, Yeah, I could see playing. Like, I'm not sure if you want if you need three absolutions. Like, that seems like so many absolutions. I could see playing like a one big Vraska over one of the absolutions. Also, big, big Vraska is just really powerful. Also, multicolor. I really like Big Vraska. Um, but there's another op option there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube. Um, ooh, yeah, another Tristani. Tristani, great. I mean, we could you could just play three Tristanis instead of March and two Tristanis. Honestly, I think I like that. 
as you know, a lot of y'all were saying, like, take out the March for different things. Because Tristani just has, like, you know, good synergy with this deck. You know, it makes all these 1-1 one -one creatures that you're making, makes them bigger. Makes our afterlife tokens bigger. Um, and it's a card we could get to actually find with Vivian Reed. You know, we're just getting more hits with Vivian Reed to tick up by putting in, like, these Seraphs and Tristanis and stuff. Yeah. So there we go. Up to you, Yud. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to up upload the video if you don't want me to, Yud. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. I don't need to upload it. Uh, in case I am uploading it, though, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching some Abzan Absolution. Maybe try out this uh, version that we have right here. If you're gonna try it out, and there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you for another video.